Ladies and gentlemen, the list you're about to see are a bunch of cowards. Be advised, all 187 of these names are Democrats. And if they're a Democrat, nine times out of ten, they're liberals. You're about to see 187 cowards. Now, what I can do is be like most people who are shocked in awe about this tweet that Donald Trump has sent out. This racially charged tweet. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something that everybody knows, including his base. Donald Trump is a racist. That's not a hot take. He's a racist. And the 63 million people who have voted for him is only two things. A, they share the same quality as the president. Or B, they don't care that he's a racist because it's not affecting them. So when people would like to point out what he said in a tweet, me and my people are sitting back looking. We knew this. It was only a matter of time. And after the president doubled down on his tweet, these people we elected into office who technically works for us, what did they do? They decided to hold a vote to condemn Trump's tweet. No, you did not waste my tax dollars on that bullshit. Out of all the people who voted and approval that he is racist, four Republicans, one independent, that must mean all Democrats. I don't care. I don't need the House to tell me that Trump is a racist. I know he's a racist. Now, they say they voted for the kids to let the kids know this is unacceptable. As admirable as that is, impeachment would have been better. Just a thought. Just a thought. Oh, that's right. Somebody did present a impeachment to the House. That will be Representative, House Representative, who also represents H-Town, Al Green. He says, and I quote, The president has committed an impeachable offense. Yesterday, we condemned him for that. Today is our opportunity to punish him. 187 motherfuckers that were Democrats dropped the fucking ball. Well, there you have it. If I put Al Green to the side, the only people that have the balls to stand up to Trump is Omar, AOC, Rashida, and Ayanna. And y'all wanted to take a vote and condemn Trump's tweets because of the kids. You're proving the kids how much of a pussy you are. As far as people to run up against Trump, I only got three people. Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and Mayor Pete. It, out of those three, the strongest one appears to be Kamala Harris. Former prosecutor, she could stand up to Donald Trump. I'm worried about the other two. On a final note before I leave, Trump said things like, if you don't like this country, you can leave. Uh, Trump, a couple of years ago, your slogan was make America great again. So that means you didn't like how the country was the time you was running. So based off of your words, you need to go back to your country. Do an ancestry test, find out where your family's from, and go back there by your logic, sir. Other than that, people, I am Christopher J. I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.